Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today I'm extremely excited because it is actually my birthday. Um, we are in quarantine, so we're doing a kind of different birthday celebration than what I would normally choose to do for my birthday, but hey, we're having a great day so far. And hopefully this video will actually be posted later today. I'm not sure what's gonna wind up happening because we're filming a bunch. We're gonna do another few cooking segments, I think, because we're gonna make some cool birthday dinner treats for me. But uh, it is April 13th. If you're wondering what date my birthday is, it is April 13th. So one of my favorite things to do for my birthday is to get Mexican food. I have uh, two favorite Mexican restaurants in our local area. Last year, we went to both of them. We went to one for lunch and one for dinner. Obviously this year, that's not something that we can do. So in order to celebrate, we're going to make a really big Mexican feast tonight. Uh, Nikki started my morning off with a Michelada at like 7 a.m. So that was great. And uh, I figured to go ahead and to celebrate all of this, uh, this good eating and my birth, I'm going to go ahead and do a first impressions finally of the Glamlight Viva Taco Palette. This is a gorgeous palette. I picked up a, a huge haul from, from Glamlight right before Black Friday. If you've never heard of Glamlight, they are a, what I would call an indie makeup brand, but their whole gimmick is that they just have like the most amazing packaging. I've got, I think four of their their specialty palettes like this, and then a couple of their just normal palettes. I love all, every one of them that I've used so far. I love the formula. I love the colors that they include. But for the Viva Taco palette, obviously you get this cute little box, you open it up and it says, what's your favorite topping? It's got this like just beautiful, unique design inside. And then you get a taco shaped palette. What more could anybody want from their life? I There's nothing more that I want. This is everything that I need in my life. But it is a taco shaped eyeshadow palette and then you open it up and it just has some gorgeous bright pigmented shimmery and matte shades included in there. And I love all the names too. They really dig into the theme, which I'm a huge theme person. So I absolutely like went crazy when I first started reading it. So you've got like onions and cilantro, lime, guacamole, El Pastor, carne asada, pickled carrots, red cabbage, all these really cool fun names. And because, you know, it's not like I'm going anywhere. It's not like I'm really trying to impress anybody. So if I mess up my makeup, it's just the internet that's gonna see. I am going to actually do a green look today. I always love doing green looks, but I rarely ever do them. And there's so many great green shades in here. I'm going to probably wind up using a bunch of lime, cilantro, guacamole. And I'm thinking just for some extra pops of color, I'm probably gonna use pickled, carrots and maybe even red cabbage or radishes, which are the two purple shades. So without any further ramblings from me, let's go ahead and jump into this makeup look. Uh, before I start, if you guys wanna give me a birthday present, subscribing to the page would be just fan-fabulously-tastic. I would love you guys forever. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do hit the uh, subscribe button and the notification bell so you see every time we post new and interesting content. So the first color I'm going to go in with is going to be Lime. It is the darkest green shade all the way on the far corner right over here. I'm gonna go in with that and I'm just going to do a nice little outer corner Gorgeous. And I, the other thing about Glamlight, they just have these incredibly formulated palettes that have very little fallout, but incredible payoff both on the brush and on the eyelid. I really can't say enough high stuff about it. They're really not expensive when you think about what like products normally cost. Um, I think this palette, I know I got it in a bundle set. I got it on sale. I bought this, the pizza and the burger palette all together in a bundle pack. And I think that was like, it was originally like $100, but I think it was like 40% off. So I got like, it was like $60, like $20 palette's crazy. I believe this palette alone, like the taco palette, the pizza palette, I think they're all like roughly $40. So really very affordable in my opinion. Um, it may even be a little bit less than that, but it's been a while since I've been on their website. Like I said, I did pick this up around Christmas time and it is now um, April, so. <laughs> Here we are. But I just think that they have such a beautiful formula and they're so niche right now. I can't like, I can't wait to see them be in like more mainstream stores. Cause right now you can only order their products from the, um, the individual website, at least that I've seen. You might be able to find it on some other niche websites, but they're not really on like Sephora. They're not on Ulta. They're not on any of those ones. So I am very excited to, to see them grow and to see 
um, more of their stuff. I know originally for my birthday, I wanted, they just introduced a birthday cake palette and I really wanted to pick that up and I considered buying it and then I was trying not to buy because of uh, us buying a house and I was trying to save money and then all of a sudden I was like, well, now I probably shouldn't be buying anything. So uh, I have not gotten it yet, but that is something that I really wanna do. In fact, originally I was gonna do a birthday cake palette on my birthday, but that didn't happen, so. Next thing I'm gonna go in with guacamole is like a slightly lighter green shade and I'm just gonna do that in my crease just to give it like a nice little blend into a lighter shade. My one complaint just looking at this palette that I would love to see is just like one nice bright yellow shade in there. And I don't know why I want that, but I just feel like that would look really cool to blend in with the top, like on top of the green. It's not really necessary. It's just something that like, now that I'm noticing it, I'm like, huh, it's kind of crazy that there's not one in there. But I am, I'm not at all complaining about this palette because I love it and I'm um, extremely excited to finally be using it. And I really love what's happening on my eyeball right at this moment. So uh, yeah, they they just seem to blend so well together as as, I was gonna say as well, but then that's really redundant. They also blend really well together. That is, it's very nice to see. It is something that I am very, very picky about with my palettes, how well colors meld together and how well the colors go with each other in the palette and how easy they are to work with. And honestly, every time I use a, a Glam Light palette, I really feel like it's almost like foolproof. Like even if you're not super comfortable with like vibrant colors and everything like that, these colors just work so well together and they have such a nice formula and they pretty much stay where you put them that I feel like if you're trying to venture into vibrant colors and trying to get more comfortable with them, this is a good palette to start with, even though it's not like, it's not necessarily like a cheap palette cause it's not, it's definitely, um, closer to the mid-range high-end makeup prices, but it's just so easy to work with. Alrighty, so I'm now going to take an explosions. I'm now gonna take a tiny little brush and I'm gonna go in with pickled carrots, which is that, I would call it like a ready orange. It's right there, it's that little bad boy right there. I'm gonna go in with that one and I'm gonna do that on my under eye because I think that'll be a nice little highlight of color gonna make my eyes kind of look like watermelon, but you know what, here we are living for it. It's my birthday, so I get to do whatever the hell I want. Okay, so I did that on my under eye, and now I'm gonna go in with cilantro, which is this, it's a darker green shade, so I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go um, light-handed at first, cause I don't want it to be super dark. So I may wind up just doing that kind of like here and then doing another lighter transition glitter shade here, but we'll see how dark it comes on my eye throwing things. So it's definitely darker than what I was, no, it's not darker than what I was expecting. It was darker than what I was hoping for because I was definitely expecting it to be a darker shade just looking at it. And I'm, the nice thing about this this palette and this company as a whole is that pretty much what you see in the pan is what's gonna end up on your eye. So it's very easy to gauge like how dark something is gonna be. And I knew it was just a little bit darker than what I wanted, but there wasn't a nice like lighter green glitter shade. So I'm gonna do this. And I actually think just because I really, really am just like feeling adventurous today, I'm gonna go back in with pickled carrots. I'm kind of loving it, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of like super into it. It's definitely a lot, but I'm feeling it. I'm gonna go in with the onions, which is the white shade with the glitter pigment, and I'm gonna do that here to lighten it up. And now I'm going to just take my standard blending brush, which has like just a little bit of like the remnants of other neutral blending colors on it. And I'm gonna use that just to kind of clean up the top and kind of blend it into the brow bone. I'm definitely getting some watermelon vibes from my eyes right now. I'm gonna put on some mascara. We're gonna see how it looks after that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll show you the finished product. All right, guys, so this is the final look. It is definitely bold. It is definitely vibrant. It is definitely not for the faint of heart, but you know what? I really like it. I really love the colors on this palette. Um, I think there's so much to work with. Uh, again, it is the Glam Light Viva Taco palette with um, all of these gorgeous colors included in it. So obviously this is something for bold, creative, fun looks. Thank you guys so much for celebrating my birthday with me. Like I said, it's definitely a little bit uh, weird this year just because obviously we're all kind of dealing with some, some circumstances that we weren't expecting to deal with, but I've had a really great birthday so far. We still have a lot of the day left um, and I'm very excited that I got to share a part of it with you guys. Yeah, so like I said, if you haven't subscribed to the page and you like us, then please do so. If you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, you'll see every time we post uh, content, which is happening very 
very frequently right now because we are very, very bored and we're trying to make sure that we are being productive and um, doing things that are, you know, distracting and, and enjoyable for us as well. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That also helps the page out a whole bunch. And uh, yeah, other than that, uh, everybody just stay safe and, and healthy. And um, I hope you guys have a great day and stay girly with a dark twist.